Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are doing good. So you guys might have watched my series of videos on DJI Mini 4 Pro and you guys were asking me to do the test on DJI Mini 4 Pro active tracking in the Indian environment. So today in this video, we are going to test DJI Mini 4 Pro active tracking and we are going to check the features that we get in terms of tracking. And this video is going to be a guide for tracking, how you can use the tracking feature on DJI Mini 4 Pro or DJI Air 3 which has omnidirectional and has this feature. So without wasting much of the time, let's quickly get into the video guys. So guys, here we have DJI Mini 4 Pro with us, which does not have any height limit unlike other drones in India. So basically you know that DJI Mini 4 Pro has a 120 meters of limit in India, but for this drone, we don't have any limit, we have cracked it. Uh, so here when we select an object, we get three options that are active tracking, spotlight and POV. So basically this particular tracking can be done both in landscape and portrait. Here is Sia who is going to help us uh, test this tracking on DJI Mini 4 Pro. She is going to move around with her hoverboard and we are going to track her with DJI Mini 4 Pro. Let's see how DJI Mini 4 Pro performs when we use the subject as a human being. And uh, Sia is going to move around with a constant speed and also uh, in the further part of the video she will be moving with a different speed. So let's see how DJI Mini 4 Pro performs. So when we uh, select for our object we basically see three options there. One is active tracking and uh, spotlight and also POV. Uh, when you select for active tracking again we get two other options there one is trace and also uh, parallel so now we are on a trace and here when you click on a trace you basically get a map on the left side here you can see that we have a circle map where you can select the position of your drone we can move the drone to the left of the subject we can also take it on a front side we can go right we can go far this is the active tracking that we get on the dji mini 4 pro basically this only works on omnidirectional uh, object sensing drones uh, and uh, if you ask me on which all drones does this feature is available it would be like dji mini 4 pro air 3 so currently these are the two drones which support this feature and this really performs well guys you can see now however i am moving so uh, a drone is able to ca capture or keep the subject in between the frame so it is not losing tracking that is one of the best performance of this drone also you have to be careful with the wires cables around you because drone won't sense it but electric pole it was superb accurate while uh, calculating its uh, obstacle around it it did not crash to the obstacle so here you can see i'm very close to the uh, electric pole and it just moved up when it sensed that there is an electric pole i was not manually controlling it i was just moving around the uh, direction of the drone with this map and drone was able to do the job very perfectly so if you guys ask me to rate the performance of dji mini 4 pro for active tracking trace mode so i would give it as out of 10 around 9 points because it really does a great job with the tracking and it also senses the obstacles very well the only thing that you have to be careful of is the thin wires around you if there's a thin wire then probably drone will not be able to sense the obstacle and it might crash the best part of this active tracking is it works seamless both on landscape and portrait so basically you can use this active tracking both on portrait mode as well as the landscape so now i'm in the portrait mode and you can see how smoothly drone is tracking the subject without letting the subject go at the corners of the frame so this is how it works with the tracking and i am in love with this particular feature on dji mini 4 pro now let's see how drone reacts when the main subject goes close to some other moving subjects so here on the screen you can see that sia is coming close to us but still drone was able to only track the main subject that is how dji has done a great job with the tracking because tracking does not shift to some other moving subject which is close to the main subject that is one pro tip that I feel on the DJI Mini 4 Pro with the tracking feature. So trace feature is really outstanding. Now let's see how parallel works. So basically when you select parallel, drone will just follow the object. It will not change its uh, direction. You don't have the ability to change the direction. Just the drone will be following the subject that you are selecting. So here also you can see that um, it was able to capture or uh, act track the main subject very well even though when there is a kid uh, moving around the main subject but still drone is able to capture the main subject and uh, this is how the parallel works uh, basically few people like parallel more than trace because trace is like drone moves very fast but in the parallel drone moves very smoothly and uh, uh, gives you a cinematic kind of a look in your footage and this particular feature is available on various other drones as well you can find it on dj mini 3 pro and also air 2s yes. so this is kind of a universal loved feature what we can say i do use this feature a lot many times when i am on a solo trip 
Now let's test out how the spotlight works. So now let's come out of the active tracking. We have to just hit on a stop and we'll be back on a spotlight. Spotlight is kind of a tripod mode for your drone. So basically drone won't have much movements while tracking the subject. So here you can see that I am tracking the subject but drone is not moving much. It is just keeping a track of uh, the subject. Now I am moving it manually to be in alignment with the subject. So in the spotlight, the drone won't move much. Actually the drone position never changes in the spotlight. The only change that you see is drone tries to operate or uh, track this main subject changing its gimbal direction and the drone direction but it does not change its location that's what spotlight is it's somewhere like a tripod which just tracks the subject now let's see how poi performs so poi is like a, a same kind of a trace tracking what we can say you can just uh, uh, select the main subject that you want to track and you get two options where you can move your drone in direction of so here you get two options to move either right or left and you can also select whether you want to move it slow or whether you want to move it fast. So here I did not select any direction. If I select on a direction then drone starts moving or tracking the subject based on the direction that I have mentioned. This is how POI works. Now let's use the POI and change the direction of the drone while tracking the main subject. I'll simply select for the left direction and we have to click on go and our drone will start tracking the main subject and also it will smoothly be moving on the left side or the wherever direction you have selected. You can see how cinematic look we get with this POI mode and the drone keeps on circling the main subject. That's how POI works and it keeps on tracking the subject unless you take it down or you stop the POI. If you guys have DJI Mini 4 Pro and if you guys haven't tried these modes then definitely I would say you should go out and try out these particular features. Because these three are super fantastic guys if you are uh, traveling alone or if you are doing a solo trip then definitely these three modes are going to be a lifesaver for you guys. So that's it for this video guys I hope you have liked this video and found this video informative. If you guys found this video informative do hit a like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll meet in the next video till then take care bye bye.